And now, your first alert weather. Cloudy conditions out there right now as uh, the storms are starting to form. We're getting a few thunder clouds, but most of the thunderstorms tonight will be focused into the higher elevations. we got a few thunderstorms that will try to get to the Snake River Plain tonight. We're currently at 73 degrees, winds gusty out of the south at 17 miles an hour. And as we head over to First Alert Viper Radar, I want to show you that we've had a few thunderstorms already starting to show here. Just over uh, Spencer north of Dubois, thunderstorms heading into the Snake Highlands. Couple weak little thunderstorms coming over Island Park right now, heading right over Highway 20 with a few lightning strikes there. We've also seen some lightning strikes trying to develop outside of Grand Teton National Park. A couple weak little thunderstorms outside of Alpine heading towards Jackson right now, trying to come over into the Palisades and then further Teton County, Idaho and Wyoming. We've also had some thunderstorms showing up here in Lemhi County, mostly in the mountains north and west of Sam, and that's where we're seeing most of the lightning strikes at this point there along Highway 93 north of the town getting up towards Lost Trail Pass. Winter, no, excuse me, not winter, but flood warnings and flood watch is still in place here for areas of far eastern Idaho and southeastern Idaho. We still got the flood warning for Portneuf River. We got the flood advisories for Franklin and Bear Lake counties, and of course, the flood watches for the rest of the foothills and mountains as we're seeing that rapid snow melt continuing. We're getting that warm air in here from the south again tomorrow off of this low. We got high pressure to the east in Texas, but we got that southern flow with our air, and that's taking us into the 80s tomorrow, but wrapping around this low as it moves inland, it's the risk for more moisture. Normal highs for this time of the year would be at 62 degrees. We'll hit that normal high late tomorrow morning, and then we're going to see our net temperatures take off like a rocket heading into low 80s tomorrow afternoon for much of the Snake River Plain. So pretty warm outside getting in here for your Wednesday. Not a lot of clouds, though, heading into Wednesday. At this point, we got a lot of sunshine to get the day started for tomorrow. Then by the afternoon, we start to see a few of those thunderclouds trying to build up, but not a lot. Most of the thunderstorm activity is going to come in late Wednesday, about 11 o'clock, close to midnight. We might get some midnight boomers coming in from Utah and southern Idaho, pushing across the Snake River Plain. Then we get to Thursday, we're going to see more scattered rounds of wet weather here with mainly cloudy conditions for Thursday afternoon, gusty winds as well. And then for Friday, we have more of this wraparound moisture off of the low as it slides in through Nevada and Utah. So we got just a few thunderstorms tonight and Wednesday. Winds will be about 10 tomorrow but we have gusty conditions tonight from the thunderstorms and we have the stormy weather Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Here's a look at the forecast. 61 for Soda Springs tomorrow, 78 in Preston, close to 80 there in Preston and Malad with McCammon also into the upper 70s. Moving into St. Anthony, we got highs at 79 with 80 in Rexburg, down a bit in Ashton at 72, same for Island Park, and 71 in Jackson with lows tonight around freezing. Jackson's extended forecast, you got highs here at 63 for Thursday with those gusty winds. We got off and on rounds of wet weather with rumbles of thunder to take us into next week and highs in the upper 40s by this Saturday. Rexburg, you'll see temperatures here hitting the lower 70s for Thursday. Then we're dropping it down to the upper 50s for Friday and the mid 50s for Saturday and Sunday. Again, gusty winds and rounds of wet weather to close out the work week heading into the weekend and we'll carry some of the stuff into Monday and Tuesday of next week. 79 tomorrow in Salmon, 80 in Chouse with 75 for Mackey, 76 in Arco. Salmon's eight day forecast, upper 70s for Wednesday. And then we're dropping down to the 60s for Friday with the 50s by this Saturday. The unsettled conditions taking us well into next week, at least through Monday and Tuesday, with Idaho Falls tomorrow topping things off around 81. We'll see 81 also expected high around Pocatello, Aberdeen, 82 in American Falls. Not much of a difference here from city to city in terms of temperatures for tonight and tomorrow. Checking out that extended forecast for Blackfoot and the rest of the Snake River Plain. We got the wet weather concerns rolling in for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's going to continue through the entire weekend with the gusty conditions. And then we start to see wet weather continuing through Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. Pocatello high of 72 for Thursday. We got highs into the mid 60s for Friday. Then we're into the 50s for Saturday with the lower 60s back in there for Sunday. So temperatures are going to be down, but actually fairly close to where we should be for the first weekend of May. Idaho Falls, we got 68 degrees here for Thursday, the lower 60s for Friday, and we're into the upper 50s for Saturday and Sunday. I should say the first full weekend of May. I mean, I can't believe that we're just uh, already into a new month here, but we have wet weather here. It's going to bring us in those May showers, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday and Tuesday as well, Todd. So kind of a washout this weekend, yeah. um, especially getting into Friday and Saturday. Uh, 
We had such a nice weekend last week, and we so, really you know, did. it's hard to see this now, but I guess it's time. It's spring well, showers. you can have to pay for it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? It's a balance. All right, Michael, thanks a lot. Let's check your consumer news now. Stocks tumbled today as traders' fears around the regional banking.